This is our uh, 2012 uh, SES with AIA Houston. Uh, SES stands for that uh, seminar, exhibit, and social. Uh, and uh, you've already had a good portion of the social uh, uh, take place. Uh, I'm Greg Hughes. I'm the chairman of uh, this year's Committee on Architecture for Health. And I want to say welcome. I really appreciate each of you being here. I think we've got a great evening uh, to look at uh, some challenges in our industry together, in the healthcare industry. Um, you know, uh, uh, the SES sort of embodies what the AIA uh, really represents and what we all uh, want to do within our own profession. And that is uh, the educational component, our exhibits that you uh, saw out there. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about some of the products and materials and services that are available in the industry. Um, without a doubt, our, our program tonight uh, with the seminar uh, focusing on educational opportunities that we can all learn to be a little bit better in uh, what we do within our industry. And uh, then that social side of it, uh, which is that networking component, which is uh, really focused on being able uh, to, to broaden uh, our uh, relationships and be able to therefore uh, serve clients a little bit better. Um, what I want to be able to do tonight, this is an event that is sponsored by the uh, Committee on Architecture for Health, uh, and I want to at least share a little bit with you about that committee. If you're not familiar with it, uh, we are uh, focused within the healthcare industry, truly with design and construction uh, 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 individuals that are a part of that committee, uh, but also we really open up and encourage anybody and everybody throughout uh, the industry to be involved in the committee. So we would encourage you to consider uh, participating. We actually meet together on the third Wednesday of every uh, uh, of, uh, of every month, uh, and uh, with that meeting, it's at noon at the AIA office, and uh, our focus there is exactly what is embodied through this event tonight. Uh, networking and education. What I'd like to be able to do is recognize uh, some of our AIA people that are on the committee that are here tonight and I'm going to actually ask you to stand if you're here. Most of them are probably still out in the uh, uh, in the foyer helping people in but uh, I, I'll at least want to point out Diane and Judy and many of the AIA uh, Committee on Architecture for Health that have helped to make this uh, event possible so I want to thank them uh, right up front. Um, with regards to our program tonight, collaborative pursuits, leading initiatives in healthcare technologies. Um, you know, those, some of the key words out of that uh, title. Collaboration. Uh, again, collaboration is one of those things that uh, uh, we all, uh, uh, it allows us to be able to expound upon our own boundaries. Collaboration allows us to build a framework and a footing with which we can expand uh, our capabilities. Uh, the other uh, words within that, the initiatives and the technology, uh, without a doubt, initiatives is part of us expanding uh, our, uh, our opportunities within our market, initiatives, uh, our quest through expanding uh, our energy, uh, and then the technology. Today our, our market uh, and our, uh, the healthcare industry is uh, embodied with just a wave of technology advances. And so tonight our real focus is to take a look at that technology advance. It's, it's, uh, it's always been present, but in the past uh, years, it's really become a tidal wave. The real challenge with all of that technology advancing is how do all those things talk to each other? How do all those things integrate? How do all those things work together? And really, that is our focus tonight uh, as we look at uh, leading initiatives in healthcare technologies. Uh, my hope, uh, and that of the AIA, is that uh, after tonight, you truly uh, walk away with some information that you can be able to use within your own professional uh, environment, uh, that you can be a better architect, a better designer, a better engineer, a better contractor, a better supplier, better health care giver. Uh, all of those things we hope to be able to embody tonight. As we get rolling, I want to uh, thank all of our sponsors. Uh, you saw some display boards when you came in and during the social uh, hour but I want to thank uh, each of our sponsors because without them, this program would not be possible. Uh, our diamond sponsors were A&E, uh, McCarthy, and Haynes Whaley. Uh, and uh, if, uh, if representatives are here from A&E, I'd love for you to stand so we can at least thank you. Any representative here? I know that we had an exhibit table out there. Maybe they're still out at their table. Uh, anybody here representing McCarthy tonight? It would be Ben, thank you. And Haynes Whaley, anybody here uh, 
Thank you very much for your support. Our platinum sponsors, uh, Automated Logic Corporation, CCRD, McCoy Workplace Solutions, Steelcase, Mitchell Planning Associates, Office Pavilion, Herman Miller, Southwest Terrazzo Association, Superior Lab Systems, and Wilson Architectural. Uh, a round of applause for uh, your sponsorship. <laughs> Our gold sponsors, uh, and I'm not going to read all of those off, but uh, they're on the screen. I uh, really want to thank you for uh, your support of the AIA in this event. Without any further ado, I would like to introduce our keynote speaker for the evening. Um, our event tonight is uh, basically going to have a keynote by uh, the, the speaker uh, of the hour, and then we're going to have a panel discussion that follows with industry experts from uh, within the technology community, within the healthcare industry, uh, to be able to talk about this whole topic of collaboration, of integration. Uh, you know, in, uh, in healthcare in general, uh, uh, there are numerous regulations that are out there that have truly driven uh, integration to, uh, to be a part of what we talk about. Well, the challenge that we have is that we've got all of this technology, and how do we actually have each of those things work together? How do they support? There's a myriad of decisions to make, a myriad of uh, things to know, uh, and so the level of the game of being able to understand all of the myriad of, uh, of issues that relate to each of the devices is a real challenge, and, uh, and how do those talk together? Uh, so tonight, uh, our focus is really going to be uh, uh, taking a look at that issue. Uh, Dr. Walsh is a professor of the thoracic and cardiovascular surgery perioperative, perioperative enterprise. Uh, I need some water. Hold on a second. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Dr. Walsh is a professor and, uh, he, and, uh, of thoracic and cardiovascular surgery uh, and the perioperative enterprise at MD Anderson. Uh, that says something right there in and of itself, the perioperative enterprise of taking a look at that uh, environment in terms of the business model of that. Uh, he first came to MD Anderson in 1990 uh, and has served in various positions within MD Anderson. Um, He's actually, in 1999, was awarded the Faculty Senate Award for Patient Care, which is a very prestigious award. Uh, Dr. Walsh attended Queen University in Kingston, Ontario, uh, and completed his surgical internship at Mount Sinai Hospital at the University of Toronto. Uh, with his general surgery residency at the Royal, Victory, excuse me, Royal Victoria Hospital uh, at McGill University in Montreal. Dr. Walsh is board certified in surgery, thoracic surgery, and surgical clinical care. Uh, he's a fellow of the American College of Surgeons, the, the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada, and the Society of Thoracic Surgeons. And he's a fellow of the American College of Critical Care Medicine Board. He is an examiner for the Royal College of Surgeons of Canada in thoracic surgery. As you can tell, he's, he's quite accomplished in his profession and quite connected within his industry. Dr. Walsh is a lecturer has been published extensively and has authored and co-authored 39 book chapters. Uh, he has served on many institutional committees and he serves on the Clinical Ethics Committee and has collaborated uh, on over 90 research protocols. Dr. Walsh is equally devoted to the mission of MD Anderson. Uh, please join me in welcoming Dr. Walsh to our stage. 